So, a lot of you guys are probably going to hate me because today there's obviously a lot of recordings going on. Uh, however, uh, I just wanted to make these videos because I actually felt inclined to. Now, this video, as you can tell, is titled, Why Do I Love Microsoft? Well, that for me is a simple question that I can give a simple answer to. A uh, long time ago, uh, the Xbox, the OG Xbox, was actually one of the first consoles that I ever asked my parents for. Um, they said they couldn't afford it at that point in time because there was a lot going on with our family. And I ended up getting it. Um, later on, uh, through that cycle, uh, my first game was actually a... Um, racing game uh i can't remember which one in particular it was but it was a formula one racer um i can't remember the name i can picture the front screen of all the cars in front of it but other than that i can't say a whole lot about it but microsoft has bought a, a lot of joy to my childhood just like nintendo has um I would love to work with Microsoft in the future if they will let me. However, uh, right now I'm just a big fan of their work. Uh, Sony, on the other hand, I don't have that many fond memories of. For me, it's more or less Microsoft and Nintendo on this side. More so than Sony. That's the reason why I'm pretty much biased is because of my childhood. But I fell in love with Gears of War, Halo... And a bunch of other games that were Microsoft IPs, like uh, Mass Effect when it first came out. Uh, man, I still love that game to this day. And then you have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, which I played a lot of when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. There was a lot of great games that they had. From Fable to Gears to Halo throughout the years. And I fell in love with each and every last one of those series. Now a whole lot of people complain about these games, but I personally love them. Forza, however, I'm kind of teeter-tottering on that one. Because I don't like spending money on cars or 60 gigabyte updates. However, uh, Microsoft has always been there when I've had like a rough time or that throughout my childhood. Same with Nintendo because I could always go back and unwind playing one of their games. Whether it be racing against some aliens, racing in Mario Kart, um, beating up some aliens, shooting some aliens, what have you. Saving the world from destruction or just adventuring new worlds from series that I loved, like Star Wars. There was a lot of games like that that they were making a long time ago that actually set the bar for gaming today with open world genres and all that fun stuff. And it just has like a big place in my heart. So it's pretty much one of the things that I'll always remember them for. Uh, the Xbox controller fit in my hand and it felt natural because I had small hands. The N64 was just pushing my hands to the limit at that point in time. But the Xbox, everything just kind of seemed to fall into place because my hand could actually fit the controller and I'd actually be able to play it. And then the 360 came around. I got my first 360, I believe, like six, no, four years after its life cycle started. I ended up going through two of them. Uh, when I had issues with mine, I actually called up Microsoft, talked to them, and they actually tried helping me and then gave me advice on their consoles and that sort of thing. And I absolutely love that they do that. Nintendo has done the same thing for other people. Sony, I'm not entirely sure. But every time I've talked to people from Microsoft, they were nice and understanding. And they'll actually take the time to listen to what you're telling them, rather than asking, have you tried turning it on and off again? I mean, sometimes some people don't actually try that, but at least they'll ask, what have you tried so far? And then you tell them, 
and they'll be like, okay, well, here's a solution, or we can try rebooting it from here. Microsoft does that. Microsoft has a great support team. Um, coincidentally, I actually was playing Gears of War a long time ago with somebody that actually worked for Microsoft. I'm not sure if he still works for them. But it's just a great group of people. Nintendo is like the same way. But uh, Microsoft has always been part of my childhood. And through talking with people that work for them is actually nice and refreshing because they're actually generally nice people and they actually care about what you're telling them. And that's the main reason why I love Microsoft so much. I love their main story IPs. I love that, the fact that they're trying to grow a community and keep them nice and tight towards each other. And the fact that they actually care about the community feedback that they get. A lot of people said, well, I don't want to buy a console if I have a PC, or if I have both, I don't want to go and buy the game both times. So Microsoft said, okay, here's the deal. We will make a shared anywhere thing, uh, not thing, but play anywhere, I guess is what it's called. Uh, so essentially, you buy the game once, you own it on console and PC, you can play it wherever, whenever you want. I love that about Microsoft because they actually listen. But anyways, that concludes this video. Um, I also hope you're having a fantastic 2018. And if you're not, I hope it gets better for you sooner rather than later. Peace out, and I will see you all in the very next video. Because it's fun.